Kia ora whanau. Today we are going to learn about the process of oxidative phosphorylation and cellular respiration. Oxidative phosphorylation begins with high energy electron carriers such as NADH and FADH2 that are given electrons as products of glycolysis and or Krebs cycle. These electron carriers transfer the electrons to hydrogen pumps located in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. These electrons give energy to the pumps so that hydrogen protons within the matrix can be actively transported to the intermembrane space. This creates a high concentration of hydrogen protons in the intermembrane space. Due to this concentration gradient, hydrogen protons re-enter the matrix to an area of low concentration. Hydrogen protons re-enter through the ATP synthase activating the enzyme to join ADP to a phosphate to regenerate ATP. To make the process of oxidative phosphorylation easier to understand, imagine the CERT cohort as electrons which are about to embark on a voyage on two waka called FADH2 and NADH. The first stop is Tonga. Here you learn how to fish and hunt which improves your physical health. You continue your journey to Samoa. Your faith is enhanced by prayer and church. Here, spiritual health is achieved. Following this, you arrive in the Cook Islands. Here you learn how to embrace your culture and from this experience, you improve your mental health. As you gain knowledge from each island, you become a hydrogen proton. The final stop is Aotearoa, which represents ATP synthase. This is where you return home with knowledge on how to achieve physical, spiritual and mental health. As you enter the harbour, you are reunited with your whanau, which are ADP and phosphate. Once you are together, you are revitalised and gain energy, which is ATP. Away, 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 away